Chevelle Hotback, congratulations on your WBF title win. Let me tell you, man, this was a, a drag em out fight, man. Talk about this fight, talk about this win, and how awesome it is to win in your hometown. Man, first of all, like always, I always give honor and glory to God. Um, Want to thank him. I uh, made it out safe, no harm. Um, maybe a little bump, little bump here and there, but that's about it. It was a great fight. It was a tough fight. Um, it definitely was a fight where I had to definitely come in in shape, which I did. Um, Victoria, I take nothing away from her. I respect her because she came to fight. She didn't come to lay down. She came to get this title, you know, and she gave me everything that she had. And I, I was able to take a little, you know, but I feel that I gave a lot, you know, and um, I came out with the victory. Um, she was kind of, I think, a little upset that the referee stopped it, but as you can see, when he, when he did stop the fight, she was going back, I was throwing punches, and, you know, just a couple more punches, you know, it probably would have been over. Um, even though throughout the fight she was taking my punches, she was bleeding a lot, she was taking a lot of punishment. Um, and I don't think, you know, the referee said his job is to make sure that, we, that we're safe. And I think he saw that she's taking enough punishment. Um, she uh, got some shots off of me, like I said, a lot of her shots was blocked. Um, the ones that was not blocked, um, she, I don't want to, like I said, I don't take nothing from her. It wasn't that much power, but every now and then, you know, I did feel a pop here and there. But um, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say, man. I'm, I'm, I'm honored. You know, I'm, I'm thankful, I'm grateful for the form, uh, for my manager, the best manager. I don't care, he, Al Hammond ain't got nothing on this man because Al Hammond got it easy working with guys. My manager, Billy C, he's working with a female, and as you know, it's hard for a female to come up in this game. Um, here I am in my hometown. I've been fighting ever since 1996, um, turned pro I think in 97, and now just really fighting in my hometown this year, and it's because of that man, Billy C. He worked hard day in and day out, you know what I'm saying, to keep me busy, and not only to keep me busy, but also to make my dreams come true, you know, and, and I just thank him, and I love him with all my heart. He's like an uncle to me. Really, but um, I thank the forum for giving me the opportunity to come do what I do as well. Um, I thank my sponsors who have um, for the outfits, you know, and I thank Nolly Dog, you know, they gave me the shirts, you know, to give to my fans and everything, and they also support me as well. So I want to thank the Q Dolls, uh, Alpha Omega Sci-Fi, for bringing me out, and I want to thank Slim Figure, you know, he he asked me, you know, what my style is, what type of music I like. What's my inspiration? And he put it in words and he put it behind music and he did a great job. And I also want to thank him for that. Um, my fans, um, my family, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without my fans. Because without the fans, you know, where the fighters be? Um, my fans, my family, and last but not least, last but not least, itty bitty Plan City. They came out tonight, you know what I'm saying? They represented, they showed me love, you know? And um, I, I just, I thank everybody, you know, and I'm just so grateful. You know, Promoter Chen and Henry Grooms giving you this opportunity to fight on this stage. You know, talk about that. Um, you know, um, uh, I've been knowing Henry for a long time, you know, and um, when we first met this last time after years ago of just knowing him, we finally sat down and talked. You know, he told my manager, hey, I'm going to give her an opportunity, you know, to fight home, you know. And, um, and he did that, you know, and I'm grateful as well for that. We appreciate this. You know, it was a scrap fight. Yeah, did you expect to just start off real quick and bang with her in the inside? It seems like she kept on bringing you into the ropes. And when you went in the center of the ring, that's when you start to really set your punches and land some great right. power shots on her. Talk about, you know, the, the mix-up in the fight there okay. where you were able to land those power shots. Right. You know, um, you're right. In the, in the middle ring, it was my fight. But whenever she would get me to the ropes, you know, she would, she just, she had me there. I try to spin her out sometimes, but she'd grab and hold that one arm, and she would hold me right there and bang with the other arm. And then when I would try to spin out, she would let go and just start coming with both arms. And I was like, wow. You know, and my trainer, every time I would go back to the corner, my trainer would say, listen, calm down, stay focused, stay focused. Try to spin her, try to spin her, try to spin her, try to spin her. And once I got in, that, that into my head, a couple of times I were able to spin her, avoid her, her punches, get out, get out of her, um, outside of the, from the, from the ropes, get in on the uh, outside, I mean inside, 
and you know and do what I do, you know. But she did. She made it hard. She had a, a great um, game plan coming in. I know she was a banger, you know, from from the last time, and I know um, I knew that she also.